This just arrived in the mail today. I ordered this late last week when the link went for sale on the Target website. I got it through the app. This is Pop Marvel 638 Mystique, the Target exclusive metallic version. A lot of sites and uh, stores are already starting to get a lot of these X-Men pops from the film. Some of them have multi uh, versions out. Like if you got the collector core box from Amazon uh, that has a Logan in there, Wolverine, and a different Mystique with the um, different morphine looks she goes into, which I think was pretty cool. I missed that on that box, but I'm pretty sure they'll at some point restock as they've done before with other uh, collector core boxes. And I still need to get that. Uh, convention exclusive uh, Nightcrawler, but I'm no rush to get him right now. But real cool, especially if you're a fan of the uh, movies like X Men, uh, X Two, and The Last Stand. They all have um, their individual issues. I think X Two still holds up. It's a solid movie. Um, first one's all right. And the last stand is just, I kind of want to pretend that one didn't happen, but I still watch it even if it's not uh, the greatest. So, and I was a fan too of Days of Future Past, which kind of combined all the different uh, storylines and then it kind of started to fall apart after, a well, around Apocalypse and then with Dark Phoenix. So, but First Class and uh, Days of Future Past were, were really good um, films. And here she is in all her metallic glory. As you can see her head is already bobbling around <laughs> since all these Marvel and Star Wars pops are pretty much by default bobbleheads. I think that's something with, from what I heard, with the contract with, with uh, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars as they're all like bobbleheads. I think it's pretty cool. I think that the metallic uh, paint really suits her skin. It's got that shiny um, reflectiveness to it. Like how it contrasts with the hair. The eyes have that metallic look too. I don't know who's uh, your favorite Mystique. Um, I know some prefer this one, the uh, Rebecca Romaine Stamos uh, version, and some might like the Jennifer Lawrence one. I don't know if it was allergy issues that Jennifer Lawrence's, you know, paint job in the films wasn't as good as Rebecca Romaine's, but um, I enjoyed both performances. They were just kind of different types of uh, of mystique characters. I really think like the Jennifer Lawrence one was made to be more like a Katniss Everdeen like crusader and warrior and they gave her like a huge lead and that's just because she was a big actress and coming off a lot of like uh, well-reviewed films at the time so I, I completely get it but I really enjoyed these these earlier um, films. It's right before a lot of the uh, big comic book films really kicked off after uh, Iron Man. But I think there's a lot of good that can be drawn from from those. They were enjoyable. It's the same thing with the uh, Spider-Man movies with Tobey Maguire. I think some of them still kind of hold up. And even if they're a little bit campy or corny in some parts, I think they can still be enjoyable, just like I still go back and watch um, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, and those by no means are excellent films but they're guilty pleasures